10 News starts right now. Also time at 5 o'clock, horror at home. Police say this 7-year-old boy was starved to death and now 5 people have been arrested. And we've learned that little boy who required in-home medical services was allegedly killed by the people who were supposed to care for him. Local 10's Christina Vasquez joining us live now from Fort Lauderdale with the details in this heartbreaking story. Christina. And now new at this hour, we have new gut wrenching details revealed in both court and a recently unsealed indictment. Prosecutors telling a judge that this is a case of a seven year old child who was starved to death by family members and home health providers during a attempt to defraud Medicaid. Before police armed with long guns would descend on this Fort Lauderdale duplex Tuesday. Before Fort Lauderdale police would outline the horrifying condition of seven year old Deontay Atwell weighing less than some newborns weighing only seven pounds on Christmas Day of last year at the time of his death. And the ER doctor determined that the child had been dead for quite some time. His mother, Michelle Doe, organized an online funeral cost fundraiser for her baby boy. Investigators say she starved to death. She's now facing several charges to include first degree murder. This victim was so poorly malnourished and neglected. The femoral heads of his bones were protruding out of his lower back. Had suffered all the way through his death by the people that were supposed to be caring for him the most. Described as a medically complex child. He had uh, spinal bifida, uh, hydrocephalus. He needed a breathing and feeding tube, around the clock skilled nursing care. The defendant, as well as one of the other co defendants here, uh, engaged in a scheme to defraud Medicaid. At his home, investigators found 264 unopened bottles of Deontay's feeding formula and evidence of Medicaid fraud. Five in total arrested Deontay's mother, brother, and grandfather, the registered nurse who was supposed to be providing in-home health care, and the owner of Samaritan Home Care Provider, Inc., an enrolled Medicaid provider. They, in fact, billed and received payment from Medicaid for services not rendered to this child. Had the child received those services, he would not be dead or weighing seven pounds at the time of his death. And that is something we heard echoed from the homicide detective earlier today when she said, based on their investigation, it was heart wrenching that he died in this manner because he did have access to the medical necessities, but that they weren't provided. I can tell you that all five face a variety of related charges. The victim's mother and brother also facing additional charges pertaining to neglect of other children in the home, two males ages nine and 16. Meantime, the victim in this case, his mother makes her first court appearance tomorrow morning. Reporting live for you tonight in Fort Lauderdale, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.